Hi, this is Abhinav, uh, co-founder of Dapluka, and today we will see how gaming dApps can leverage Dapluka for their daily analytics need. So let's get started. So Dapluka is a no-code multi-chain Web3 analytics platform. So when I say no-code, what it means is like you don't need to be tech savvy to do any kind of analytics on Dapluka. Uh, we have a Visual SQL and Dragon Top dashboard builder by which you can easily create some awesome charts and dashboard with just few clicks and and, and in under 30 minutes. So let's talk about what makes Dapluka different from other analytics platform. So the first thing is like we are we have a partnership with Graph Protocol, so we are subgraph native. So you can directly plug your subgraph and start doing analysis on your data. Recently, Betswell, which is one of the uh, betting gaming DAP, uh, registered their subgraph, uh, which is on Polygon Network, and they are doing analytics and that they are just creating some awesome charts on our platform. Apart from that, we also support smart contract analytics. So if you have a smart contract, you can also register that uh, on Dapluka. Uh, secondly, uh, we are the only platform who provide on-chain, off-chain data together. When I say off-chain, what it means is like uh, if you have an external endpoint or you have a JSON file or you have a Excel file, so uh, you can directly upload that file on Dapluka and anyone can do analytics after that. The data is available on Dapluka platform. And third, so if you create a chart and dashboard on Dapluka, uh, you completely own it because we don't have any watermark on the on the charts and dashboard you create. So uh, you can directly embed any chart and dashboard into your website. Or if you want your data, your charts or dashboard data, uh, we also provide using the APIs, which you can easily integrate into your platform. So these are the feature which is very unique. And also uh, we are the only platform who provide all these features uh, like subgraph native then off-chain support then uh, embedding without a watermark. Now let's talk about some of the stats of Dapluka. So uh, we have around 250 plus project registered on Dapluka, 15 plus network integrated like Ethereum, Polygon, Celo, Neo, and many more already integrated with Dapluka. And we are uh, working with uh, running network, talking with running network to integrate the network so that we can uh, onboard more and more gaming dApps. And we have around 200 million plus real time data on our platform uh, on which like anyone can do analytics. If we talk about top projects who uh, uses Dapluka for their daily uh, daily needs. So some of the gaming DAP like uh, Betswell and Cool Together and other DAP like uh, Aave, Lens, Beamswap, Ubiswap, Uniswap uses our platform for their daily analytics needs. So now if you talk about some of the notable features of Dapluka, so you can connect multiple Web3 data source uh, on Dapluka like smart contract, subgraph, subquery, external API endpoint, JSON file you can upload. So a lot can be done. Then you can easily build and share your chart and dashboard with the community with ease. Then you can uh, download Web3 data in CSV, XLS, and JSON format, and there's no limit on downloading. Then you can connect multiple chain DAP data at a single place. For example, Betswell is available on Ethereum and Polygon, so they connected both their subgraph endpoint, and now their data is available. So now they can see their both network data at single place and do analytics uh, comparison like and performance with, like on which network the DAP is performing good. So that can be done with ease. So now let's see how a gaming DAP can register their uh, DAP uh, on Dapluka with ease. So click on my dashboard after login. Uh, here you uh, get an option of register project, click on that. Inside that you get a two option, feature project and new project. So feature project is majorly targeted to the, towards community. So for example, Betsel wanted their data to be available to community. So we added into feature project. So anyone from the community, any user can directly uh, come and select their data. So it's instantly available for the analytics. They can do analysis on that data with ease and uh, it's completely free. So now let's see how a new project can be registered here. So go to new project. Here you can uh, select multiple data source like subgraph, smart contract, and subquery. If it if your project into Polka dot ecosystem, uh, let's say we have a subgraph. Click on subgraph. Click on register. You have to give the name. You have to select the network. Let's say Polygon, and I will say Betswell. You have to add your subgraph endpoint, which you can get from the graph uh, the graph website. And if you have a subgraph endpoint, we have a support for that also. You just have to add the subgraph ID, not deployment ID, just to this reminder, and the API key, and you're good to go. So once the data is synced, you will be notified using uh, push notification and uh, email both. And similarly for uh, for smart contract, you just have to go into register project, click on new project, you can select smart contract, click on register. You, for example, I want to register pool together data. So uh, you can set, uh, you can select the name, you can select the network name, for example, Polygon, and then you can search for the uh, for the contract. So yeah, you can see like, yeah, you can see the pool together data on Matic is available and you can select multiple smart contract also and click register and you're good to go.
that's that's how easy it is to register any dap any gaming dap on dap paper so now let's see uh, betswell data which is a gaming betting dap and see like how our powerful visualizer or no code visualizer by which you can create some awesome charts and dashboard so before going inside uh, i will show you one feature which will just amaze you so we have a feature called uh, excel table which will give you an overview of your data so let's say coin toss bet so i will click on excel and here you can see the complete overview of your data into the form of uh, charts okay you can directly do a bit of change if you think like your dashboard looks like uh, the same what you wanted and you can directly save here right so that's like within just one click you created a like overview of your data into the form of charts and you can directly save it if you like it let's go back and see the data so now let's go to coin toss bets data now here you can see the data is transformed into easy to understand uh, tableau format right so in the at the first line also you can see and understand the basic of your data so here you can see the user user data the gas game token timestamp result face bet transaction hash a lot can be you can easily see and here we have the powerful visualizer or no code tool we have so i will start with the filter so let's go to filter and here you can see lot lots of filter option right so uh let me tell you all the filters are dynamic it's completely based on the type of column you have so for example for timestamp you will get different options which are more related to timestamp then first string uh, for example uh, how set is a string so we have different different options right and for similarly for a uh, number like uh, amount you you see different different options so that's the kind of uh, option you get when you come on Dapluka for visualization of your data so now let's see how easy it is to uh, create a chart on Dapluka with our no code tool so uh, for uh, let's assume i wanted to create a count of uh, a monthly count of bets uh, on this uh, like on coin toss bet okay so i will just click on summarize so by default it's count selected uh, we have lots more option other than that you can select as per your need then click on uh, timestamp so we go up to minute but uh, for like right now we are looking for monthly so i will do monthly i will select monthly and here you can see the uh, uh, coin toss bets on a monthly basis so uh, uh, this, like this is a chart and if you want to see the data in tableau format you can see that also so in the feb uh, it's around 2 now it's close to 3702 and it's only half one 15 days past right so that's the way you can see the data with ease now uh, we have lots of visualization option i will move this here okay so in the visualization you have a lot more option like uh, you can create a bar you can uh, create a combo chart area row waterfall pie chart a lot can be done here and let's see i want to create a bar chart so in the bar you can do a lot more you can the basic one is like you can change the color here okay then uh, you can change the like x axis name then in the display we can create a trend line we can create a goal line uh, you have to give the value here then we can you know, show value on data points we can do that one and in the axis we have lot more options you can you can cu completely customize as per your need as per your creativity so uh, let's assume i am done with that i just want to uh, do done and i want to save this chart i will click save and i will say a monthly coin toss count okay so if you ask us to save in a public or private collection so we have a two types of collection in uh, if you save into public it will be available to everyone if you save into private it will be available to you only so for example i want to save into my personal collection i will click save and here like uh it will ask me to uh, save into dashboard so i will do yes please and we have a i think betzel uh, dashboard i will do this and i will search for it click on this if you click on this so now you can see uh, the chart recently you have created it's uh, here now you can resize it as for your liking you can also uh, drag uh, the position of a chart here and for example if you like to add more charts so you don't have to go, go anywhere you just have to click on add charts and here you get lots of options you just have to click on total payout total amount of coin so it will get added here right and you can again resize it as per your liking so that's the easiest way to create any dashboard and you can create some awesome creative dashboard as per liking so i will not save this dashboard as like this is already public and used by the community i will make it cancel and let's go to discover page where i will show you, uh, you know, like virtual gaming dashboard so this is a dashboard so to give you more perspective about this dashboard so this dashboard is uh, virtual polygon gaming 
analysis dashboard, uh, which is mainly focused towards the DAP level activity and user level activity where you will get to know easily like which game on the virtual gaming app is performing well and on which game the user is like uh, more engaged and uh, here you can see the uh, like overview about the dashboard in a text and then you can also uh, add like icons uh, gif video as per like me and here you can see some of the important metrics like unique user dispatch unique user so uh, to give you context uh, betswell is in betting gaming gap which has four majorly four types of game. The first one is Dicebet, the second one is Cointos, third one is Roulette Pets, and fourth one is Russian Order. And the most famous game is Dicebet, as you can see with the numbers. And the second one is Cointos. So here you can see the total volume based on the uh, game. So in the month of uh, like March last year, it was close to 25k USD, and now it's goes up to 2.4 million. You can see, right? So uh, before that, like in the month of December. It was uh, the highest 2.6 million, and you can see the coin toss was the uh, like most engaged game on their platform. As like users are uh, betting more on that game. Now that has been changed to Roblox. So you can see the activity of user and, and which game uh, is like performing well for the app. Right. Similarly, for total payout, you can see like in the month of uh, like uh, March, it was close to 24k, and now it's close to 2.2 million. And in the month of December, the highest payout has been done for Cointos. So now if you move forward, you can see the user level activity here. So this user has uh, betted for around 2.3 million and he got a payout of around 2.4 million. So you can see he's in profit and you can also see that like in the payout also, obviously like if you bet more on the Cointos, you will get more payout in the Cointos only. So if you move forward, you can see the top payout user uh, for each game. So for Cointos, this user is the highest one. For top, uh, like uh, for rounded bets, uh, like this user, is a, uh, he, he got the highest payout. And similarly for the dice bet and the channel. So you can also like uh, uh, see a specific user activity. So for example, I want to copy this user and I want to filter out the data based on this user. So I will just click. The data for this user has been filtered out. Like he has betted for 70K uh, in coin toss and he got a payout of 75 Okay, which is good amount. He made a good profit. And in dice bet is close 6.3 and he almost like lose all the money. So that's also very easily can be done. You can fill you can create some filters uh, for the users or for the dApps uh, with ease. So this is about the uh, like virtual gaming dashboard analysis. And I hope you like the video. Let me know if you have any uh, doubts or queries. Uh, we are more than happy to help in that paper. Thank you.